New York City, Israeli and American flags being burnt on the streets by young protesters from the Socialist Democrats of America. Americans need to realize that that is the kind of pollution that their students are being taught in universities. And the racist defenses and sanctions of aggressive violence of this kind, it is that kind of thing that will drain the moral clarity from this issue. If the West cannot show moral clarity here, then we are so far gone, we are so morally and philosophically corrupt, you do not turn the other cheek here. You hit them back a hundred times harder. Do I expect anything like that to happen? No, because we do not have moral clarity on these kind of issues. It is precisely that kind of Christian ethics that will disarm the West, that will make Europe so appeasing, that will even at the end of the day make America appeasing. Given the fact that America, who has really only been the semi-friend of Israel here, is going to go wobbly because of the Democrats in our country, frankly. But even our Republicans aren't going to give us the clear response on this. But when I see members in my own country, the only country that ever comes to the defense of Israel, going all wobbly like that, and their history of appeasing Iran and Hamas, I am frightened that we will not get anything like the just response. And then in a matter of day, the world will go negative on Israel when Israel has done one-tenth of what is justified here and required here. In the pro-Palestinian protests in New York City today, someone holding up a swastika, formerly Nazi comparisons are way off base, but here you actually have a comparable case. They are going out to slaughter and do atrocities against innocent Jewish civilians, and they will not be happy until every Jewish person in the Middle East is gone or dead. All aggressors in wars are themselves responsible for their own civilian casualties. They have explicitly put military targets behind human shields, hospitals, orphanages, residential neighborhoods. That's where they put their military stuff. So in this case, not only is the aggressor responsible for every single innocent who might die in this, but Hamas has personally killed, personally responsible for every Palestinian child who dies in this conflict. And it could not be more clear. And if we in the West can't stand up and make that clear. It is Hamas who is murdering Palestinian children in any invasion that might happen. If the people in Gaza don't want Hamas to rule them, they have to do something about it or get the hell out.